as the fanny pack turns. So the Georgia Appeals Court agrees to consider Trump's effort to out Fulton County DA. Fanny Pack Willis. Guys, let's get into this. So the Georgia State Court of Appeals on Wednesday agreed to hear the appeal of former President Donald Trump as to whether Fulton County District Attorney Fanny Willis should be disqualified from his election fraud case for improper conduct. We already know there was more than just improper conduct. I mean, that is calling it lightly. From the evidence that we have seen, this was basically corruption at its finest. And outside of that, the case on its merit, there is no merit to it. Again, I implore everyone to look at my voter GA video and my also my video, and I did a live stream just going over the independent audit of the Georgia uh, 2020 election and who child, it is so, I, I, I just can't even get into how many lies, fabrications, evidence covering up really looks like, in my opinion, that there were crimes that took place on this election. And this was an independent audit by voter GA who did this. Then also, if you look at the testimony of a video I did of the board of electors, one of the um, electors down there in Georgia, who he's not some crazy conspiracy theorist, but he said there were things that were insane that were going on behind the scenes, things that they asked for. And they said, oh, we'll get it to you later. Or improper, um, the, the evidence tampering, improper, um, there wasn't, it, evidence wasn't filed correctly. They were never given certain things. And so this is why he chose not to certify the election twice, not because he was on some crazy train, like a lot of people I want to say, but he had a job to do. And, and basically he could not do it with good conscience because of what he uncovered in that election. So on its merit, this entire case is ridiculous. In fact, if you look at it and you ask the right questions, did Trump go far enough? with asking these questions and what he did. But we know, guys, asking a question today, you are absolutely crazy. You That is actually cause for you to be indicted, to even question anyone in authority, to even question the government, then they've got to shut you down and they can indict you, prosecute you just off of that. But we already know they can indict a ham sandwich at this point because just because they can do it doesn't mean that it's it's true, that it's that what they have on you is correct. But they will go to any limbs to try to fabricate it, which I've been uncovering what the Dep Department of Justice is under investigation right now for possible... <clears throat> and see what things have actually happened for um, the collusion between the White House and all four prosecutors right now, Fannie Willis, Letitia James, Alvin Bragg, and Jack Smith, and how they possibly colluded with the White House in order for to run politically motivated prosecutions against Trump to interfere with the 2024 election. Again, I wanna state this for everyone to know, I am independent. I'm finding this stuff out for the first time, just using my eyes and ears as a basic citizen with no agenda in mind. I just wanna make sure that our elections and our country and our government is run correctly and properly and what they say they're doing, they're doing. And I'm tired of these people that are in power not being held accountable. So this is why I'm getting into this right now because I, this the evidence I've uncovered is absolutely ridiculous. But let's continue with this. The court granted the application for what's known as interlocked interlocutory appeal without comment saying that Trump and at least eight other co-defendants have 10 days to file with the for, file the former appeal. I cannot wait for um, Trump's attorney, Sadow, to actually file his. We know that man is a pit bull. And I always love when I see his legal briefs or him, actually him making arguments or questioning people. Whew. Uh, that means the appellate court will hear the case before the trial gets underway rather than afterward if Trump or any of the other 14 co-defendants were convicted. But we know the case is not going anywhere. It's basically been stalled out by appeals and all these different things. It's way off track and just, it, it's just a mess right now. So I already know it's not going to go forward, but it's important that they do these things because we need to show that Fanny Pack Willis is absolutely corrupt, not just with this case, but we've seen in numerous things. People have been telling me about what's been going on in Fulton County and how it is, it is just it is just corrupt. The entire County, even the prosecutor, the, uh, the former DA before her, was also brought up on sexual harassment charges. 
so many things have happened in that county. It's just, it's, it's really sickening that these people are allowed to get away with it. President Trump looks forward to presenting interlocutory arguments to the Georgia Court of Appeals as to why the case should be dismissed. And Fulton County DA Willis should be disqualified for her misconduct in this unjustified, unwarranted political persecution, said Steve Sadow, my boo boo, <laughs> lead defense counsel for Trump in the case. Uh, funny enough, he was involved in the um, YSL case, kind of, well, actually, directly because he, I believe, he represented Gunna and part of the uh, YSL case. So Sadow is all over the place in terms of who he's representing. But hey, if you need legal representation and you got the funds to afford Sadow, then go with him, okay? The presiding judge in the case, Scott McAfee, ruled on March on, in March that Willis could stay on the case despite admitting to have an affair with the private lawyer she hired to oversee the investigation. Nathan Wade, as, lo uh, as long as she forced him off the prosecution team. Willis and Wade have denied wrongdoing and said their affair started after she hired him to oversee the sprawling election racketeering case in November, 2021. Wade resigned from the case, guys. We know from the, the uh, phone records, we know from testimony, we know from even how this entire case got started that those are lies, that they actually lied on the stand. They lied when this happened. They laughed and lied in the, um, their affidavit. Like there has been, there should be perjury charges brought up against them, collusion charges. We even see where um, Nathan Wade for two days, two separate times, once uh, he went to the White House for, and was billed the people of Fulton County, Georgia for eight hours of meeting with the White House. And another time when he was at, I believe, Athens, Georgia, when he met with a White House official for eight hours and billed the people of Georgia while he's a special prosecutor on the Donald Trump case. What, what, what reason would you have to meet with them? And we already know Fannie Pack Willis has met with the White House several times and Kamala Harris. So again, guys, there's, there's a probe, a DOJ a probe going on right now for that collusion, but let's continue. Trump and the majority of the defendants sought to appeal the ruling, um, saying McAfee's ruling didn't go far enough and that Willis and the Fulton County District Attorney's Office should be disqualified and the case dismissed because of her alleged financial and ethical conflicts of interest. It's not just conflict of interest. Now, they have to say that because this is what they're trying to present as far as their appeal. But we already know she's also under investigation by the Board of Ethics in Fulton County, by the Board of Ethics of Georgia, by the state's attorney of Georgia, by the Republican Congress there in um, Senate in Georgia. She's under investigation for possible uh, ethics violations and criminal violations. So it's more than that. But of course, these attorneys, they don't have any say so in that. They can't really bring that forth unless there are charges pending, unless they have something that they can bring forward that has actually been done by another legal body. So they have to bring forward how her actual conduct was in, it was, um, improper in the actual in this actual case so this doesn't mean that there that there aren't these other things these criminal allegations that are going on with her or investigations it's just what these attorneys are allowed to bring forward so keep that in mind again fanny pack is getting hit from all sides which we know that's what she likes when she's on her uh what does she like? She likes her gray goose. Mm -hmm. The appeal could significantly delay the trial, possibly until after the November 5th election. That is shaping up to be a Biden Trump rematch. Shaping up, it is a Biden Trump. Like, who writes these stories? Like, honestly, you have to be blind, deaf, and dumb not to know this. But McAfee, who has not set a trial date, has said he will allow a trial, he will allow trial preparations to go forward while the appeal is underway. District Attorney's Office spokesman Jeff DeSantis, which DeSantis, there is, he was actually, I believe, hired. I can't believe, I don't remember if it was him or someone else. I got to investigate him some more, but either worked, uh, met with the White House as well. Um, I, I got to get into that. So don't quote me on that, but I, I, there's so many levels to the corruption in this office. I, I just, I have to dig my teeth into it. And you guys know I've been on hiatus for two weeks, so I'm trying to get back in it. Um, but Jeff DeSantis said the office would have no comment at this point. Of course, no comment, no comment. She never wants to make a comment unless she's on her gray goose and talking that nonsense about how no one can touch her. No one could do anything to her. But guys, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. We will be covering this appeal, uh, this appellate 
ruling. Hopefully they do um, rule in Trump and the co-defendant's favor. Is it because I'm biased? No, it's because I've seen the evidence and it's absolutely ridiculous. And I do not believe in these unjust uh, prosecutions, this political persecution just to go after your enemy. Um, and what Trump has been accused of in his co-defendants, in my opinion, once again, they did not go far enough. Once we've uncovered the evidence that is out there, it is insane and it will blow your mind. I encourage you to watch my entire live stream I did on this. Look up um, what I did uh, I when I reviewed uh, the testimony of the uh, one of the electors of Georgia um, in 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 a um, in a trial and how he what he testified to. It will shock the conscience to actually think these things are going on in the United States. But of course we know they are. And this is just kind of the uncovering, the unveiling of what goes on with these political powers, with these puppet masters that try to keep us silenced, try to keep us quiet and really want us to vote and behave like sheep. But guys, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this. Make sure you are subscribed and you hit the notification bell because I'm gonna be pumping these things out as they come. We're digging more into investigations about all of these prosecutors. And if you want political tea, I also do social commentary tea. Um, I have something I'm going to do on Whoopi Goldberg and the nonsense she just talked recently. And I think Shawnee O'Neill, Shaq's wife, saying the same thing. These women are mm, monsters. But anyway, guys, <laughs> make sure you subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Bye.